everything in my life changed. Everything. My personality, my family, my studies, even my friends. I'm living like a different person.其实新疆的主要矛盾比不是反恐问题，也不是恐怖主义问题。新疆的主要矛盾是权力问题，权力的不平等，权力被这些极端利益集团控制和垄断，而这种权力资源的垄断，通过这个它垄断了各种发展的
the staff kept asking me, do I want to go? I didn't want to go at all. Then my dad started to speak in Uyghur. He didn't want them to understand. He said, I would prefer you to sweep the street in U.S. Then you stay here to suffer from them. He said, never come back, okay? Promise me. When Jawhar first came to the United States, uh, I picked her up at the Indianapolis airport and she had not slept for 36 hours and the last thing she'd seen in China was her father being taken away. She was now in the United States on her own and her circumstances were very, very unclear. And she persevered. She is extremely hardworking, extremely diligent. She has both turned herself into a regular university student, and she hadn't come for that, and at the same time, this a, a real spokesperson for her father and for his ideas. And I think he would be extremely proud of her. They gave him life sentence. Life sentence. What China is doing is extremely negative for China, is extremely negative for the Uyghurs, and it has ramifications beyond the borders of China. When you attack the moderates, as the Chinese state is doing, and attack them so harshly that someone like Ilham receives a life sentence for doing nothing that any liberal regime would consider a crime. In other words, he was simply expressing his opinion. When you do that, you leave the field open only to the extremists, who by definition are under the radar, and they become the only ones with whom the discontents of this population resonates. As a result, what China is doing is feeding extremism. So this is something which is very, very dangerous and is something the rest of the world really should pay attention to. I think if more people internationally know about his case and know the truth, there's more possibility that we can release him one day. I think if I can ask him one question, I want to ask that if he knows that I'm trying to do all these things for him and if he trusts me, that one day I can make it, I can succeed, I can finally get him out one day. I want to ask him if he believes in me and it believes in other people who are trying to help him. I hope he believes. Thank you.